Okay, today I'm going to explain about this question. Uh, this question actually is one of the teacher actually asked me how to do this question. And I find this question is a, a little bit uh, uncommon. Yeah, maybe it's one of the uh, hot questions, which is higher order thinking skill question. Alright, so first, after you read the question, there are two lines. One line has three points and the other line has six points. How many triangles can be constructed by using the points on these two lines? Alright, so first after you read the question, you, you, you need to understand this one actually is in the permutation and combination chapter, which is for MF student. Alright, so yeah, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve this question. Alright, because it's a little bit uncommon. So at first, what I will do is actually I will form two lines according to what the question was and he said one line actually have three points I randomly plot three points here then I call it ABC and on the other line you say actually has six points so I plot six points one two three four five six okay so maybe I label it as one two three four five six okay so after you plot everything before you start to do because you need to uh, construct the triangle but before you need to uh, start to construct a triangle you have to think uh, whether this one is permutation or combination right because in this case all the point is look exactly the same so it's impossible this one is permutation most of the time permutation is used for letter or number mean each of the letter and number is unique they are different so the arrangement is very important so in this case all the points actually look alike so in this case is combination so combination i'm going to use ncr in this case so i hope yeah you understand what is ncr which you can see in your calculator all right so okay so at first uh, before you start to do you need to get some idea how to form a triangle so first if i want to form a triangle at least i will need three points in it one two three okay this is the idea to form a triangle so over here i will need at least three points to form a triangle so do you see my triangle here like a one two okay this is my triangle and then for a here okay on on the second line here Okay, I'm going to call this one as first line. This is second line. It's easier for me to do the ex explanation. Oh, okay, so for second line here, what what I find out, I have six points here. So in order to form a triangle with the point A, that means from the six point here, I need to choose any of the two point. Okay, I mean any of two point mean can be A, one, six. Then I can form a triangle A, one, six. Or A three five. Then I can form a triangle using A three and five. That's mean. Okay, so what I will do is, okay, for point A here. In order to form a triangle, I will use point A, uh, and then I will actually construct using any of two point on the second line here. So what I will do over here is six point over here i will randomly choose two point to form the triangle with a so i call six c two okay and then i, I will actually mount multiple one or for a but six c two multiple one is just 62 so i call, i can call this one is for a then for b is the same thing b will form with any of the two point here so for b we'll have another 62 and then for c you have another 62 Correct or not? Because C over here, you can you can also construct a triangle using any of the two points over here. So, over here, 6C2, if you use the calculator, calculator will tell you that it's actually is 15. It's not mistaken. Yeah, it's 15. So, yes, this one is 15 plus 15 plus 15 is 45. So, you have 45 ways by using one point in line, first line, and then match with the two point in the second line here to form a triangle. Alright, this is first condition. And if some student you understand about combination law, you okay, this is your first method you can do like this, or you can do like this. Over here, I have a three point. I, I mean on the first line, I have three point. 
and then I will randomly choose one point to match with the two point on the second line here. So the second line is six point. I want to choose two, right? You can do this one. Okay, so this one is for the first line. I mean three A B C. You choose one. It's called three C one. All right, this one is for the second line. I mean, yeah, six. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, you will choose any of the two point to actually form the triangle, and then you get the same answer. It's forty five. Okay, this is forty five way. But this question is not yet finished, right? Okay, of course, method one or met method two, you just need to choose either one. Okay, okay, you you don't need to use both. You just need to do either one. All right. So, yeah, personally, I will prefer this this one. But the first one is easier for students to understand. Yeah, point A you match with any of two point point B point C. All right. So, but but then this is not the only way you form your triangle. Okay, you actually you can form your triangle using two point in the li first line here, and match with any one point on the second line. This is your triangle also. So if you understand about this one, so what I will do over here is. What I will do over here is, over here is three point. I will randomly choose two point. To match with the. One point on the second line here, so here I have six point, isn't it? So for six point here, I will choose one point to match with, to match with the two point on the first line. So I just multiple. So this one will be, uh, three multiple six is eighteen. So this is eighteen ways. All right. So this is the. Uh, okay. You only have these two method to form the triangle. You can try yourself. I don't think you have. Any, any other methods to form your triangle? So in this question, how many triangle can be constructed by using, in the points on these two lines? So he want to find how many triangle can can be con, can be con, can be constructed. So can be constructed. All right. So yeah, it's just eighteen way, plus with forty five way. So yeah. So total, I will write total triangle. Will be forty five plus eighteen. So we have sixty three way to form the triangle for this question. All right, because yeah, I think some most of student can get ah、uh, the idea actually. Yeah, you can use the method one or method two to actually find the forty five. But a lot of student do not know actually. You can use two point on the first line also, as long as it look like a triangle. All right. Yeah, I hope this video can give you some idea on how to solve the combination question, and I find this question is a little bit uncommon compared to the other question. All right, so if you if you like this video, you can share it with your friends or subscribe to my channel. Yeah, if you have any comment, you yeah you you can post on my Facebook or on my YouTube. Anyways, thanks for watching.